All right, folks, we're going to get this parade started right now. We've got the Gresham Police, and I believe fire will be with them, but here they are. The police cruiser, make a difference. <laughs> City of Gresham Police, they look outstanding. I believe we're looking at uh, that car's driven by Deputy Chief Bill Smith. Outstanding. Great to see him. Uh, they'd like to officially kick off the 23, 41st annual Tarotopus Teddy Bear Parade right here in Gresham. How about a round of applause for our police officers? They do a lot to protect and serve here in Gresham. It's not an easy job, but they show up every day to make sure our community is a place we can all be proud of. Thank you again to Gresham Police. Welcome. Now coming up, we've got the American Legion of Gresham, post 30 color guard. Flag carries American Legion, and the veterans of foreign, <coughs> excuse me, foreign wars strive to connect veterans and the local community to the benefits they are entitled to and support their fellow veterans. American Legion Post 30 is proud to be the honor guard for this year's 41st annual Seroptimus Teddy Bear Parade. Outstanding. Yes. Oh, Weston's got their music playing. Nice. Oh, Our yes, always. Weston Gresham Fire Truck, driven by Brad Rowe. Gresham Helping Gresham partner as well. Oh, they're amazing. Weston Buick GMC Kia Hummer, locally owned, business active in many community events throughout the year. You'll see the Weston Fire Truck celebrating birthdays, many events, including Gresham Helping Gresham. The scouts on the fire truck and following are boys and girls from Cascade Pacific Council. Timberline District. I'm so excited, Woo! which includes all Gresham and surrounding schools from kindergarten through high school. Scouts provide leadership skills through many activities, including camping. Thank you to Weston Buick, GMC, Kia, Hummer. Nice. Oh, they look great. They got a great. They're also the Cascade Pacific Council Timberline District. Scouts are with them, obviously, and they had a good showing here. Wow, look at that. And Some Brad, even got to ride on the truck. And Brad Rowe, you just can't say enough about what Brad oh, does. He and, is amazing. Uh, in support of Weston. He is amazing. <clears throat> All the scouts are great and they're representing. I like that teddy bear. Looking good. Nice. I know that young man. I know his parents. I knew him before he had kids. Yeah. Great to see him. Well, you're hearing the sound of American muscle, Lori. That's right. I love it. Look at that Pontiac Firebird. Nice. Coming our way, and this is, uh, this is a 68 Pontiac Firebird driven by Don Wells. And on the back end there is Gresham City Councilor, position number five, and Council President Sue Piazza and her husband, Michael Patrick. Woohoo! Councilor Piazza, how are you today? Outstanding. <laughs> you look great in that car. Beautiful car, Don, a 68 Pontiac Firebird. Beautiful, love it. Next up, another ragtop, and this is the Reading family and their fur babies driving their 65 Ford Mustang. Beautiful car, Gresham City Council, position six. Janine Gladfelder is holding the fur babies. Good morning, <laughs> Councilor Gladfelder. And that car is for sale. Ooh, that's tempting. Yes. I love it. Car number three, Poppy and Dale Vintage on Main, driving their 72 Chevy Chevelle SS. They've got Gresham City Council position number four, Jerry Hinton, and his lovely wife, Leslie. There's the Hintons. Thanks for all you do. Yes, thank you so much, you guys. And what a beautiful car. Great car, Brad. It is not an easy job to be a city council member, I can tell you. Many hours of hard work go into keeping the city together. And Bob Church is driving his 65 Ford Mustang. I'm sorry. Nope, we've got a Ford Falcon. Yeah, we, we do. We swapped. We Here did. we are. <laughs> and we have position three city councilor Vince Jones Dixon and his family. Oh, they look lovely this morning. Great to see you. Very nice. Hello, hello. <laughs> Carol. Carol. Carol, you have a beautiful car, a beautiful little Ford Falcon convertible. I think it's Mustang, a Falcon Mustang Futura. Ford Club. Yeah. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. Sirotimus International, all about automotive. This is Karen Johnson's all about automotive, 63 Corvette. I think Patricia Steve's with her today, too. All about automotive, known for their <laughs> honest and careful care with all their customers, vehicles for maintenance and repairs. This is our Sirotimus International president, Patricia Smith. 
Steve and Karen Johnson revving the motor for you. And here comes Gresham Fire and Emergency Services Battalion Chief, Command Car C7 with Battalion Chief Mick Wesner. Mick Wesner, an amazing firefighter, an amazing battalion chief. Here's a fun fact. Mick played professional Australian basketball. Mick's an amazing guy. C7 out here today, looking good. <laughs> and next coming up, we've got Paul Taylor driving his car. Well, that is a different vehicle than what I have, but that is okay, it is beautiful. And we have an honored member Peggy Johansson. Peggy has been doing, she was leading the Sir Optimus Teddy Bear Parade for 30 years, so she has been a member of Sir Optimus for 48 years. Amazing. Thank you so much, Peggy, for what you do. Amazing, and thank you, Paul, as well. Okay. And next we have the Pink Sisters with Deb Hart, who has a heart for those who are cancer survivors. And so Weston is pulling their wonderful uh, party barge that, the, that they use for the nonprofit that they have. Pink Sister's mission is to inspire and empower women facing breast cancer, giving them the motivation and vision of health and healing with create, creating in inclusive and relaxing environments of love, support, and fun in which irreplaceable connections of sisterhood are made. They do this by offering no-cost day retreats and extended retreats. So learn more about the Pink Sisters at pinksisters.org. You ladies are amazing. What an amazing group and what an amazing float Courageous. and boat. This thing is absolutely it, it's stunning. It's so cute. I've seen it on social media my first time seeing it in person. Epic. It's epic. It yes. is epic. It is an epic Pink Sisters, float. you're epic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here they come, East Hill Church family, established in 1938. They've been participating in the parade for a couple years now, and uh, the parade's been staged on the property over 30 years, and we appreciate that. East Hill Church family is a local, multi-generational, and multi-ethnic church in the heart of downtown Gresham. They have a generous heart for the city, with local outreaches supporting schools, family shelters, and organizations that help the community thrive. During COVID, they provided an outreach of food, supplies, prayer, and a smile every Thursday for over the year and a half, the local community during a crucial time of need. They are very excited to be here today, and we yes. are very excited to have them. And we hello, thank, hello. oh, and you know, East Hill is where they allow us to stage this parade. There is not another place or parking lot big enough to do it, but East Hill opens their doors and gates every year to allow us to come in and stage that parade. Thank you, guys. They are amazing. Love it. Good group, too. Thank you guys for all coming out. There's Michelle. Nice. <laughs> that is a big group, and it won't be long to that little girl sitting in that wagon, I'll bet you. Mm -hmm. Well, next up, we have Mount Hood Community College, established in 1966. Mount Hood Community College is proud to provide the education needed for the jobs of today and tomorrow. Mount Hood Community College is East County's choice for your higher education needs. Whether it's short-term training with the job experience or transferring to a university, Mount Hood Community College is here for you. The college is also an economic driver for our area. With a recent study showing that 432 million impact to our local economic in 2021-22. That's great. Mount Hood oh, Community College. You know awesome. what? I'm an alum of there. I'm not a graduate of there, but <laughs> I, I did attend. Well, we want to thank Edward Jones. Thank you, Elena Roca Johnson, Christina Price, and Kim Lanfar of Edward Jones for being a career sponsor of the 41st annual Sir Optimus Teddy Bear Parade. They've got an impressive turnout today from Mount Hood Community College. They do. And folks, you don't even have That's to pursue a, jazz a degree, band. but you could, yeah, there's a jazz band, but you could also just pursue classes through Mount Hood Community College. And we've got Al Sagala leading the way out back here. Look at that. Very nice. Diane, yeah, nice. This is great.
want to tell you a little bit more about Seroptimus. It's an international organization uh, that has over 66,000 members in 120 countries and territories that contribute their time and financial support to community-based and international projects that benefit women and girls. And the Seroptimus is who put on this parade and the money raised from this parade go to scholarships for head of household, working women who are mothers going to college or vocational school. And we'll be learning more about the Seraphimus as we go. And here's Kona Ice. They were established in 2018. They're mobile. They're fun. They're stocked with the most delicious flavors you've ever tasted. Need a moment of pure bliss? Well, Kona Ice has you covered. Visit them. Let them sweet tunes and sweep you away to an island in the middle of the ocean. While you're there, kick up your feet and enjoy a nice cup of your premium shaved ice. Kona Ice owned and operated by the Pompetti family. Since opening in 2018, the family-run business sponsored events, schools, and youth organizations in the Gresham area because of their love for the community that's comprised of family, friends, and neighbors. They are great. Woohoo! Well, next up, we have the Bold Orange, a marketing company that specializes in print and digital media. The Bold Orange is led by Kayla Veramontes, a dynamic entrepreneur with a passion for creative marketing solutions. She is dedicated to help businesses stand out in a bold way. Through innovative strategies and commitment to bold ideas, the Bold Orange is empowering brands to reach new heights of success. Kayla is also a proud Seroptimus member and the chair of this parade this year. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. And here comes Mr. Gresham right there. Look at Mr. Gresham in that beautiful little Mustang convertible. Mr. Gresham, uh, nickname he heard back in high school back in the day. This is Todd Kernan. A 91 graduate at Gresham High School. He's a gopher. He received the award for most spirited his senior year. Showcases spirit daily as he walks downtown Gresham. Provides an important service. Thank you, Todd. Well, now we've got Scribbles Preschool coming up. And Scribbles Preschool is an educational program for children ages 3 to 5 years old. We believe in a positive, fun, family-involved environment to encourage a great step into their educational future. Please visit www.scribblespreschool.com for more information. Go yellow! <laughs> Everybody's dressed. Woo! I like it. They always have a great turnout. We always love seeing scribbles. <clears throat> the bright yellow looks great out here. Yes. And following scribbles, we have U.S. World Class Taekwondo. Master Sam Leiter is in there leading the group somewhere. Oh. And then we've got U.S. World Class Taekwondo has been in Gresham since 1988. They offer programs starting at age three for all ages. Those would be the ninjas and abilities. U.S. World Class Taekwondo is named Best Business by the Gresham Outlook and Sandy Post. They believe that it is because of their students. They are the heart of their program. They would love for you to be a part of the program as well. And they are currently now enrolling. Oh, my goodness. Lori, this is amazing. I know you want to get out there and join them because you're a board breaker yourself. <laughs> I did just break some boards recently. I just recently. saw two or three boards <laughs> broken. That was amazing. Uh, we'd like to thank Weston. Weston Buick GMC Kia Hummer. They're this year's presenting sponsor for the 41st Annual Seroptimus Teddy Bear Parade right here smack dab in the middle of Gresham. Weston's locally owned business active in many community events throughout the year. You'll see the Weston Fire Truck celebrating birthdays and other community events. They're partners with Gresham Helping Gresham. Again, our presenting sponsor, Weston Buick GMC Kia Hummer. And we're going to keep it here with this group. Amazing group. I US know. I even see, I see Master Isabel. She got her master this year. She's pretty amazing. One of our instructors as well. You know a few of these folks, I believe. I know quite a few of these folks, actually, yes. That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. What a great turnout. Does it hurt when you kick a board? Uh, not if you do it right. Okay. Well, <laughs> if you do it wrong. Then it probably hurts. That's yeah. what I'd be looking yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing <laughs> to see that. The, the spinning kick is pretty amazing, very powerful. Yes. We have some pretty amazing athletes in our school. I can say that. And speaking of amazing, the oh. Girl Scouts. Let's bring on yes. the Girl Scouts. They are lots of fun. They prepare for a lifetime of leadership, success, and adventure through challenging and fun activities like earning their badges, selling cookies, traveling, exploring science, getting outdoors, and doing community service projects. Girl Scouts have been serving their communities since 1912, and service units 15 and 16 are proud to serve the communities in Gresham and East Multnomah <laughs> County. And thanks for the thin mints. Keep them rolling. That's oh, all I yeah. can say. Oh, yeah. Those cookies. Oh. Amazing. The Samoas. What's your favorite one? Um, I would have to say it's between the Thin Mint and I now have one that's this lemon one that's just killer. That is good. The dosi dos are yeah, oh, I, yep, it's yep. amazing. I don't know. I just it's hard to pick. Yeah, my daughter was a Girl <laughs> Scout. She enjoyed it. 
And kids, you're on TV, so wave to the cameras. Wave to the cameras. All right, following them, we have Highland Elementary Husky Pack, established in 1997. The Highland Elementary Husky Pack helps to build a community at the school through meetings, fundraisers, and events. We try to help new families feel welcome, help to support the teachers and staff, and help to keep families informed about events and activities at the school. At Highland, we are a family where everyone belongs. Thank you guys for coming out. I just want to take a moment and thank Mountain Hood Community College again um, for being our career sponsor, one of the career sponsors for the, this annual parade that we're having here. On Mountain Hood Community College is proud to provide the education needed for jobs of today and tomorrow. It's your choice for higher education. Needs provided educational needs for jobs today since 1966. They are amazing. Next they up, are. Maggie Mae's Bookshop. Woohoo! Voted best bookshop in Gresham. Here they are, Maggie Mae's Bookshop. Not only sells books for all ages, but it's a meeting space for the community with their book clubs and events for all ages. It's the perfect place to get anyone in your life a gift or a book. Their customer service is top notch, always ready to help. Thanks, Show Roberts, for putting this together in Maggie Mae's Bookshop. Woohoo! It is a great bookshop, I and must say. And they're delivering the bubbles. Look at that. Oh, I love it. More bubbles. Woohoo! Well, next we've got the Rockwood Center. We are a nonprofit organization. If I can speak, we are a nonprofit organization serving Rockwood community. We partner with our community to meet the needs of our neighbors. We offer a number of classes in art, music, sewing, and provide entrepreneurial and community gathering space. We work with the community to address changing needs. Thank you, guys. And the Rockwood community, they're really developing down there. If you haven't been down to the Rockwood area, uh, check it out. There's a lot of development going on in that area to improve the community. <clears throat> it's just a slight lull as they're looking at that beautiful little BMW convertible. That is nice, the 425 the But the green group's coming up next. And, <laughs> of course, leading that green group, Clackamas County Bank. Woohoo! They've been in the Teddy Bear Parade for a number of years, approximately six, possibly more. They've established in 1911. Clackamas County Bank is the oldest community bank in Oregon, continuing to serve the community with four locations, Sandy, Welch's, Boring, and Gresham. Uh, community Bank, Clackamas <laughs> County Bank, uh, they take pride in providing exceptional <laughs> customer service and giving back to the community. Clackamas County Bank is your full-service community bank, offering banking, insurance, and investments. Thanks so much. Great to see you. All right. Coming up here, we've got Gresham Ford. And this is, must be the, oh, this is the new, the 2022 Ford Bronco. Coming behind is the 1973 Gresham Ford, the dealer with a heart, truly lives up to its name. Finding every way to make this community a better and safe place to live, work, and play. Gresham Ford supports well over 250 local charities and nonprofits. They are champions of Tri Local First, bringing awareness to the benefits of shopping local. Drive for your schools, snowcap charity, fill a bag, local. Uh, love local and more. Choose the dealership that chooses to make our community a better place. They donate $100 to your favorite nonprofit when you purchase a new or pre owned vehicle. And here comes Snowcap Community Charities. They have helped neighbors in need with food, clothing, and other basic needs since 1967. They serve people living east of 82nd Avenue within Multnomah County. Please visit snowcap.org to volunteer, donate, or find out more about their clothes, closet, food pantry, and other services. Snowcap. Oh, now we've got it. Wow, awesome. Corbett Cheer Club. Nice. Corbett Cheer is a group of cheerleaders who cheer at all the Corbett football games. The Corbett Cheer Club ranges in grades from preschool through high school. We cheer for home and away games for the Corbett Cardinal football teams. We are open to all districts. Go Cards! That's awesome. <laughs> Visual Impressions Photography. Number of years of Teddy Bear Parade. Well, they've been here for two years. Amanda Campy is at the helm. Offers studio portrait sessions as well as quality school and sport pictures for local schools and community leagues. Give back programs provided more than $10,000 to local schools and sports programs. They're energetic photographers ready to capture all your special moments. Good mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. Amanda's great. <laughs> And the Small World Learning Center, and there's my daughter right there carrying a banner. <laughs> well, they're locally owned and operated by myself, my lovely wife, Suzette Matthews. They provide care that provides a strong foundation for Gresham's future teaching and guiding with love, laughter, and learning. <clears throat> They've been caring for children in Gresham for over 38 years. They're locally owned, operated, education and fun become one. They've been voted the best daycare, preschool, and learning center for 15 years and running. Excellent. Love being a positive part of the community, touching the lives of Gresham's future. Well done. 
Very nice. They just, it's a great group, and these are a lot of teachers and families. I love it. Friends. It's I love great. how they all come out. Oh, yeah. And there is uh, our director, Carlene Ryan. My wife, Suzette, was, of course, she's in the van, I believe, driving. Of course, of course. So uh, a family affair for everybody today and a great turnout. Nice. Well, we just want to also give a shout out to the Bold Orange. A big thank you goes out to them as a career sponsor. Get ready to stand out from the crowd with the Bold Orange, where creativity meets success. The Bold Orange is your trusted partner in navigating ever-changing landscape of marketing. With a keen understanding of marketing trends, consumer behavior, and digital strategies, they provide invaluable guidance to business seeking to boost their bond, brand visibility, and... and Kayla's amazing. She is. The bold she she really is, is truly. Yeah, she puts it all out there. And this is Hall Elementary. Yes. They're, they're jammed up there just a little bit. Just they a little are a bit. Parent teacher club. They've been working to connect students and parents with teachers to build connections. Hall Elementary parent teacher club fundraises. They do enrichment events for the students of Hall Elementary to support students and families. I feel like we're speed reading them for a minute. We kind of had to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and these guys have been in the parade a long time. Uh, Portland Skyliners Tall Club, established in 1955. Members to the Portland Skyliners Tall Club must be over 21 and 5'10 five, five or taller for women and 6'2 or taller for men. We support Mar Fran Syndrome Research and Scholarships for High School Seniors. The Skyliners Tall Club is represented by 6'7 tall, Mr. Tall Portland Gus Bauer. We are pleased to have six foot Shelly Sage, Miss Tall, international representing Tall Clubs International and Tall Clubs throughout the United States and Canada. Well, isn't that great? The skyline, I always wonder what their requirements were. That's great. You gotta be tall. <laughs> yes, you do. You got to be tall. Six two or greater for guys and five ten or taller for the women. Yeah, awesome. Cute little car. I know, I like it. Yeah, it's kind of like a spider. It's kind of fun. And Little Wings Academy. Little Wings Academy, they're a Montessori school, provides education and care of the highest quality through love, passion, and collaboration and effort. As a Montessori school, our goal is to prepare children for life by giving them the best foundation in their early years. <coughs> their sponsors, Delta Drilling Solutions, they're in the K&M. Okay, nice. Very nice. Yeah, they've got a pretty they good contingent like they this have morning. A, yeah, I'm like, it's they bigger than what I thought. On. They've got the big Denali HD truck, and then they've got a float, and they've got Shoot. the Can-Am, and that's Delta Drilling Solutions. That is they awesome. They serve Pacific Northwest Engineering and Service Team. Developed high-value solutions. Very cool. And they've got tunes. They do. They do. Um, that looks like a lot of fun. It does. Oh, coming up, I think we've got... West Columbia Gorge Chamber of Commerce, established in 1999. We are West Columbia Gorge Chamber of Commerce, re representing the cities from Fairview to Cascade Locks. We are a mobile chamber, visiting our members instead of focusing on an office. Come to our chamber chats on every Wednesday. First Wednesday is a learn over lunch. Second and third Wednesdays, we have morning chamber chats. Fourth Wednesday is an after hours bash. So I bet if you look them up on Facebook, for the West Columbia Gorge Chamber of Commerce. You can probably find all kinds of stuff on them. I'm sure you can. Good morning, Reynolds School District. Getting a little shout out, good for you. <laughs> a music the tree. Music tree. Yeah. They're an early childhood group music studio. Part of the offerings include free classes for babies under five months and grown-ups too. The music tree is an early childhood group music studio located at Third Street, where children zero to four make music and play. And music makers four to nine can learn piano or ukulele. Friends of all ages can also discover the wonders of music and the music lab. Very nice. That's neat. Following them, we've got Hogan Cedars Elementary, parent teacher student organization, uh, established in 2002. Our mission is to support and encourage all students of Hogan Cedars. We will partner with staff to support and encourage student engagement and support the school mission of engaging hearts and minds. This will be accomplished through creative methods and approaches to connect with students and families building school spirit and excitement. I'm just going to throw in a quick thank you so much, Edward Jones, Elena Roca Johnson, Christina Price, and Kim Lampar of Edward Jones. Um, for over 100 years, Edward Jones has worked to create a better future for our clients and their families. Next up, we've got Gym Stars. <clears throat> Holly Bragg put this group together. 
Here they are, Gym Stars, focused on offering a variety of opportunities for children and their parents to have a safe indoor play area. Preschool and kindergarten programs prepare little minds for the big world ahead of them. Check them out at gymstarkids.com. Gymstarkids.com. Yeah. Next, we have our heroes coming up who are broadcast or filming this and making all of this possible for us to be up here in East Metro East Community Media, established in 1984. Metro East Community Media is a 501c3 nonprofit community media center based in Gresham, Oregon, that provides media instruction, equipment, and studios to help East County residents tell their stories and create their own shows. They also have an award-winning production team that covers local government meetings and provides production services for government, nonprofits, and schools. Metro East uses media to invigorate civic engagement, inspire diverse voices, and strengthen community life. And they, they do great work. Metro East can't say enough great things about them and their setup. But now we have the Gresham High School Band. They're the high school band led by Emily Bunday. We're going to let them play this out. How about this? <laughs> Go Gophers. Woo! There's nothing like a parade. For I the know. Marching band. I love the marching band. Absolutely sealed the deal. It's one of my favorite parts. Oh, nice. Following them, we've got the Gresham Rhythmettes Dance and Cheer. Gresham Rhythmettes are so excited to be a part of the Teddy Bear Parade this year. They invited you to join them at Gresham Football Games this fall to even see them compete in state competitions this winter. Our students are incredibly focused on creating connection and spirit in our community and love the opportunity to perform for you today. Thank you for coming out, guys. That's outstanding. And amazing. they have some youth cheer team, too. That's amazing. <laughs> and look at this, Gresham High School football. And yeah. I would expect nothing less than this man at the Woo! helm of that. Mr. There he is, Coach Cesar Martinez. Yes. Doing a great job with these young men and, uh, and, and getting them ready out there on the, on the gridiron. So congratulations, Coach. Keep up the great work at the Gresham, for the Gresham Gophers High School football team. Great to have the team out here representing. This, this might be a first, I'm not sure, but I love seeing the players walk yes, into the parade. I think so. Well I done, think, Gresham. I think they volunteered last year. Now they're in it. I love it. That's great. Well, now we've got the Gresham High School Drama Club coming up. Please give a warm welcome to the Gresham High School's theater department, holding multiple state titles and is one of the most competitive drama departments in the state, currently working on their production of Into the Woods. Please keep an eye out for upcoming production and events. They will be doing five shows this year, so make sure to show up and support. And ladies and gentlemen, if you have not been to one of these uh, events put on by these skilled actors and actresses, it's amazing, uh, the production. The, the level of talent on that stage is just crazy. Our local area high school drama clubs do an amazing job putting on shows. Go support them. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Kinder Care. Kinder right. Care. They build confidence for life by providing high quality learning, childhood education for families of all backgrounds and means, serving children from six weeks to 12 years of age, committed to providing each of them with the very best start in life through a high quality education experience in a nurturing and engaging environment. In support of all the children and families, they embrace inclusive participation of all children in their programs to ensure each center can meet the unique needs of each child and their varying abilities, interests, and passions. Woohoo! Great job, Kinder Care. Coming up, we've got Dynamic Martial Arts, established in 2017. Dynamic Martial Arts students are challenged to improve physically, mentally, and emotionally through a blended style of martial arts training, including Taekwondo, kickboxing, Eskrima, and more. Parents and students alike benefit from what is talked about on the mats, as well as pride themselves teaching Relatable lessons that can be put to work in everyday life. Ideas like focus, respect, self-control, and responsibility are among a long list of life skills that students can take out of the dojo and into the world. Well, I love the next story. This is uh, the family of Ed Eustace. Ed Eustace was the owner of the car. He worked in Gresham for over 25 years while raising his family. This is Ed Eustace's 1968 Dodge Dart convertible. He had one when he was younger and specifically bought this one so his kids and grandkids could drive it in the teddy bear parade. We love you, Dad. That's his grandkids' nickname for him. So, PA, we love you, PA. Take care <laughs> and well done. Beautiful car. It is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. All right, next up we have Pineberry Schools, established in 2021. Our goal is for children to develop a love for the outdoors and learn through exploration. 
Pineberry School is a nonprofit forest school located in Troutdale and operates out of Glen Auto Park Monday through Friday. We blend traditional academics with hands-on learning experiences to create a well-rounded student. We offer drop-off preschool, caregiver and me programs. We look forward to starting a baby and me program and include me program for the disabled community. Well, they've got a lot going on. They do. All right. Next up, Gresham Historical Society. You know, I saw this guy earlier. <laughs> Located on Main Avenue in 1913 Gresham Carnegie <laughs> Library, the Gresham Historical Society Museum is open and free to the public five days a week. Visit the museum Wednesdays through Sunday for rotating <laughs> exhibits about local history and culture. Follow Gresham Historical Society page on Facebook and Instagram for event updates and fun history facts. Registration is open for the museum's third annual Gingerbread House <laughs> competition. And yes. that, that is a legitimate competition. It's oh, it amazing. is. It's crazy. If you haven't gone into the Historical Society when they're having that on, it is, you just can't, you're jaw dropping. It's like, wow, how did they even do that? And if you're out there and you want to participate, <laughs> contact Historical Society for the details. You'll want to be part of that. Well, here coming up, uh, oh, actually, they just passed us. They're walking fast. We've got Edward Jones, <laughs> Alina Roca Johnson, Kimberly Lamfar, and Christina Price. For over 100 years, Edward Jones has worked to create a better future for our clients and their families. And excuse me, families and communities, one personalized relationship at a time. Our advice is based on a disciplined, established process that centers on our clients who are individual investors, small businesses, and the goals they are trying to achieve. And here comes the Gresham Barlow School District. And I believe we have East Gresham up front. Look at that. I do, yeah. The yep. PTSO. Oh, cheers in the back. Okay, good. Nice. East Gresham's my old alma mater back in the grade school days. It's been a few years okay, now. But, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm an East Gresham fan. Very nice. Next up, we've got the Barlow Youth Cheer coming up. Very fun. Established in 2017, Barlow Youth Cheer is a cheerleading organization focusing on sideline cheer for kids third to eighth grades. This is our third year in the Teddy Bear Parade. Follow us on Instagram at Barlow Cheer. Very nice. Thanks for coming out again, guys. It's great to have the young cheerleaders, and they were out on uh, out in the middle of the field at the uh, Barlow game during the halftime and did an amazing presentation. Nice. They, were, they just did a great performance. All the fans loved them, and great to see the youth cheer. And their <laughs> coaches, too. Kristen Hendricks, good morning. Yep. Oh, and here comes the Barlow fight song. You can hear it. They're coming up behind them. So this is Sam Barlow High School. Uh, they're a comprehensive public school, obviously located in East Gresham. They represent Sam Barlow, include the jazz band, cheerleaders, dance team, theater group, and the robotics club. Good for them. Woohoo! Sam Barlow, and that's their fight song. Heard that a lot last night in the 66 to 14 beating that they gave to the David Douglas Scots. Very nice. Wow, that's a nice big group. Yeah. And the director, Paul Nicholas, out there, he's standing on the back there with the kids, All playing right. right there with them. The Gresham Barlow School District serves more than 10,000 students. Our schools are known for providing safe, positive, supportive learning environments for students. Our mission is to inspire and empower each student so they can thrive. And again, folks, this is coming to you from Metro East Community Media, and they do amazing work. They've been here all morning setting up for this amazing parade to bring it to you. It's not live. They'll edit it, and then they'll put it out there in the world, and it's amazing what they do. Metro East Community Media, thanks for everything you do. Yes. They're off to see the, the wizard. They are off to see the wizard. All right, now we've got Gresham Arthur Academy, established in 2002. We provide a quality education free of charge to children in our communities. We try to enrich the lives of our students and their families by participating in local events. Our school community is a place where students, staff, and families are valued and respected. We work together to provide a safe, welcoming environment in which all students thrive, love, and learn. Thanks again to Weston Buick GMC Kia Hummer for being the presenting sponsor for the 41st annual Sirachmas Teddy Bear Parade here in Gresham. Weston dealership delivers comprehensive and affordable financing options to the drivers in Gresham, Oregon. 
Their financing team is filled with knowledgeable professionals experienced in processing auto loans and leases. You Check know, them out, Weston. Nice. You know the Arthur Academy has a great turnout. Look at this. This is amazing. I love it. Wait for the cameras, everybody. There they are. <laughs> they provide a quality education free of charge. Yes, they are amazing. Well yes. done. Gresham Arthur Academy. So cool. Great job, you guys. They've got a nice little mascot there, too. I know. Look at that. I like it when they have them dress up. I was hoping we were going to see a, a gopher, but, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Hard to get time. the mascots off I know. After, Next time. after big Friday night games. <laughs> We got the football team, though. We're getting everything today. It's, I, it's I, amazing. It's been a, a great parade thus far, and we're just kind of getting started. <laughs> yeah. Meals on Wheels yes. is rolling our way now. With the help of over 70 volunteers, Meals on Wheels, People's Ambleside location delivers nutritious meals to over 400 homebound seniors throughout the Gresham area. In addition to providing nutrition support to Gresham seniors, Meals on Wheels, People, provides regular social support through on-site dining, friendly chats calls, wellness checks, and virtual bingo games. Anyone mm -hmm. interested in serving with Meals on Wheels? They can visit mowp.org to start volunteering today. Nice. Well, up next, we've got the Pathfinder Network Center for Family Success, established in 1993. We are here today as proud parents and families to show support for our community. The Pathfinder Network in Multnomah County offers parenting classes, re-entry, mentoring, support for justice-involved mothers and fathers, early childhood home visiting, peer mentoring, case management, and mentoring and intervention programs for children of justice-involved parents of the or themselves involved with the justice system. And here we have, this is Warren Allen LLP, the largest full service law firm this side of the Willamette River, been protecting legal rights in the Northwest for over 50 years. They're committed to providing exceptional service and they have a reputation for diligence, integrity, and professionalism. Warren Allen LLP. Nice. Oh, now we've got American Heritage Girl Scout Troop OR0613, established in 2013. The American Heritage Girl's mission statement is building women of integrity through service to God, family, community, and country. We're an organization of girls ages 5 to 17, which meets weekly on Monday evenings from 6.30 to 8 at Harvest Christian Church, located in Troutdale. Oh, and I told you, I promised horses, and we've got them, the Oregon Equestrian Trails. Established in 1970, they maintain horse trails and horse camps in Mount Hood and surrounding areas. They promote horse camping and work to educate the public about horse safety. Their motto is, leave no trace. Look at these beautiful animals. Amazing. Oh, and I love the ponies in the carts. They're like one of my favorites. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cute little pony. I know. With a bear on his head. Well, they have little shoes over their shoes. Very cute. Oh, they do. <laughs> Out their hooves. There we go. Shoes on their hooves, some of them. Very nice. Very good. Beautiful and, uh, horses. And they've got people uh, behind them. Oh, yeah. you got to have the scoopers. Our, our cleanup crew yep, yep. leaving no trace behind on the teddy bear trail. <laughs> That's right. No yeah, trace. <laughs> always responsible. They are wonderful. Oh. And you look great this morning. Well, we've got the Mounted Explorers Post 686, established in 1972. The Mounted Explorer Post 686 is a high school-aged youth group focused on riding and caring for horses. Originally founded in the 1950s, the group has been located in Gresham since 1972. We can be found on Facebook at Mounted Explorers 686. Feel free to contact us. We are currently open to youth applications. Oh, that'd be a lot of fun. I know. I grew up with horses, so yeah, it, there's a lot of cleanup involved, I can tell you right now. And this is Gresham Memorial Chapel. Andrea Gerbish put this together. We provide compassion and understanding during a family's time of need. Family owned and operated, <coughs> providing both a personal and professional touch to all of their arrangements. Unique facility has an on-site reception room with seating up to 104 people, eliminating the need to go to any other venues. Their goal is to assist families as much as they can during their most difficult times and relieve some of the stress and responsibility that comes with caring for your loved ones. Well, up next, first student. Love the school bus. 
established in 1940. We are dedicated members to the Gresham community. Our primary responsibility is to safety deliver Gresham Barlow School District students to and from school daily. We also run a nonprofit out for our local, which supplies backpacks, school hygiene supplies to families in need. Thank you so much, guys. And Junk and Joe. Junk and Joe is a father-daughter, woman-run business that specializes in junk hauling and removal. They serve the greater Portland metropolitan area. Glory and Joe were both born and raised in Portland. It's where their love for the community started. <laughs> Pride themselves on customer service and cleaning up the community. Junk and Joe, again, a family business, woman-run business, Junk and Joe. Oh, that's impressive. I love it. All right. Pal Valley Elementary School, go Panthers. Our student success is our utmost priority at Powell Valley Elementary. Our parent-teacher club is dedicated to supporting our students, staff, and community. Our goal is to do everything in our power to enrich lives of our students. We help promote community inclusions, hosting movies, bingo, and spring, oh, and a spring carnival. That'd be fun. This is open to our Powell Valley neighbors. Come join us. Well, and here come the good guys, just a group of friends that like to have a lot of fun. They're the good guys. Woohoo! And they have entered the teddy bear parade. I love it. I want to just give a shout out to East, Com East Metro East Community Media, if I can get that right. They believe that electronic media can and should be used to encourage artistic creation and free expression of a broad range of ideas and opinions. Phil Rice just threw a couple of bears to us. Uh, oh, I love it. Here, so thank you, Phil. Sweet. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. One of the good guys, Phil Rice. <laughs> North Gresham Elementary School, established in 1970, has a great reputation for having exceptional staff members who love their students and provide them with a rich academic and social experiences. Our staff is dedicated to providing all students with an education that will prepare them for continuing success in school. Our amazing principal, Shonda Swell, paired with our remarkable staff, involved parents and committed students come together to make North Gresham a wonderful, unique place to learn. And speaking of learning, the Metro Ooh. East Web Academy. Meanwhile, Metro East Web Academy is an online public charter school through the Gresham Barlow School District for grades K through 12, serving anyone living in Oregon. Our vision is to transform education by providing multiple innovative pathways for students' success. They provide multiple programs to enable students to succeed online, K through 12, early college, GED, and credit recovery. Meanwhile, Metro East Web Academy. All right, well, as you can see, we've got the Gresham Breakfast Lions Club, established in 1980. They serve Gresham area community, raise donations for our local charities, also support Snowcap, our father, my father's house, and guide dogs for the blind. The Lions are our world leader in the effort to prevent affordable blindness. One of our main missions is to support people in need with hearing and vision problems. Great group, a lot of fine folks. Oh. Gresham Breakfast Lions Club. And now we have the Mount Hood Dance Academy. They're located in historic downtown Gresham. They're a pre-professional dance academy, provides classes in ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, and contemporary lyrical point, acro, tumble, and more. <laughs> they have competitive dance groups that compete in li local and regional competitions. Dance as if no one is watching. They believe the first dance class your child takes is the most important one. They ensure your child will have a fun and memorable experience in a safe and friendly environment. How about that? I know, that's amazing. I've always wanted the hip hop. <laughs> it looks like fun. Next up, we've got Pediatric Therapy Services, established in 2006. At Pedi Pediatric Therapy Services, our highly trained and skilled therapists provide evaluation and treatment for children and neurological, medical, and developmental conditions, as well as speech and language delays. We are happy to continue to sponsor the 41st Annual Seroptimus Teddy Bear Parade again this year. Great to have them. They got a penguin and some butterflies. I know. Wow. Oh, and a bubble machine, too. The bubble machines are it this year. They're bringing it. Tell it. Speaking of bringing it, Gresham Heating and Air Conditioning, they were founded on two generations of honesty, integrity, and experience by the Redfern family. They've lived in Gresham community for over 60 years. Family loves their community and wants to continue to invest in their hometown. Let them help you improve your air quality. Find the most comfortable temperatures for your home year-round. Call Gresham Heating and Air Conditioning today. Nice. 
Next up, we've got Lovely Landscaping, established in 2018. Family owned and operated, they are honest, trustworthy, and affordable lawn care service. Look at that, you get your heating and air conditioning, and, and then, then you get your lawn done. I know, you can get everything done. We're offering solutions here at the Teddy Bear I parade. know, I know. Oh, and Lori, you know it's my thing. Another <laughs> marching band. <laughs> yep. I, I've got a thing for these marching bands, yep, and I you love gotta this do one. It. Do it. Centennial High School alumni reunited earlier this year to march in the Grand Floral Parade, honoring many years excellence in the school's marching program. They had such a good time that they got back together to march in the high school homecoming parade and the teddy bear parade, playing a medley of video game music arranged by Tim Wells titled Gamers on Parade. This is cool. I love Centennial it. Centennial High School Alumni Marching Band. Woohoo! Very nice. I think I'm going to give a quick little shout out again to the Seroptimus International of Gresham. Yes. If you guys are interested at all in what we do, we have our meetings every second and fourth Thursdays at the Gateway Gresham Elks at noon. Um, we are, like I said, this parade right now raises funds for head of household women with children who are working and going to college or vocational school. And they do offer a cash scholarship as well. They we want do. to talk about that because there's a deadline coming up. But this is Ernst Manufacturing. Family owned and operated business in Sandy, established in 1981. Company designs, manufactures quality tool organizing products for professional mechanics and home users alike. Products are sold worldwide and the Ernst family is proud, making them right here in the Pacific Northwest. We have Don Cameron, established in 2019. Here comes Don Cameron, a locally Hispanic owned Mexican seafood restaurant. They are here to support the kids and believe that with love and support, we can make all a di we can make a difference every day. So they are happy to be a part of the teddy bear parade this year. That's great to have them. Don Cameron looking good. They've got like a little lobster, I think, at the top of that thing. I think so. The Armada's exterior, they offer superior service in roofing, siding, and gutter repairs and replacement since 2015. Let us never outgrow the loyalty and commitment to the customers that helped them build the foundation or ever forget those that hold this company to the highest regard. May we always be steadfast in commitment to remain honest, truthful, and humble with any and all customers so they may join the list of loyal fans. They promise to treat your home like it's their own and treat your family like theirs. Armada's exterior. And they've got kind of a plethora of trucks lined up here. They do. I love it. Oh, and look, we have, is that Ur Elmo? Elmo. Very nice. You're not going to tickle nice. him from here. Not going to tickle him from here. No, nope, not at all. <laughs> Very but, good. But the cash scholarship for the Sheroptimus, the deadline, I believe, November uh, 15th. The, yeah, I think we're going to, hopefully we get to cover that a little bit more at the end. But um, you go to sigresham.org and go under Live Your Dream Programs, and it will give you all the information you need to know to see if you or someone you know and love qualifies to apply for those cash scholarships. Outstanding. And again, Armada's exterior, great turnout for them. Yes. Oregonians Credit Union, established in 1936, has been helping people reach their financial goals since 1936. We've got the best loans, the best rates, and the best people. The friendly and welcome staff at the Gresham location will take care of all your banking needs. It's great being in Gresham, and it's great being an Oregonian. Thanks for coming, guys. Woohoo! Oregonians Credit Union. Outstanding for the credit union. That's great. And speaking of outstanding, how about this 1928 La France, driven by the one and only wow. Reggie Becker. This is the most beloved firefighter that City of Gresham's had the opportunity to ever hire. And uh, Eric Golson <laughs> as well. Great to see you. You guys rock. You're uh, amazing. I love that 1928 fire truck. La France, restored in 1985 by Gresham Volunteer Fire Department. That's an amazing rig. That is beautiful And of beautiful course, that's rig. 1928. And this is what it looks like in modern day. Gresham Fire Engine 71. And that's an amazing rig too. And all their fire engines are ALS, Advanced Life Support. That's Jake Fish. He's looking good behind the helm there too. So <laughs> looking good there, LT. Nice. Yeah, it's just great well, to have be part of the parade. They show. always kind of, you know, the reason we finished the parade, obviously, is because they might get called away and they've got to be able to escape. Oh, absolutely. But I love having the firefighter for participation as well as our public safety. Now, look at this. This uh, is unique. This truck crawl. 
they're demonstrating the crawl mode of Truck 71. Oh, my goodness. And uh, I know that they wish they could bring it out. They don't have – it's on the ground, but they're not skilled and, and trained yet to drive it. But Gresham Fire now has a new truck. They do. And it is – yes. And it's, it's not big. this one, but it's bigger than this one. <laughs> and it's called the Tiller Truck, and they're going to be proud to bring that. I'm sure we'll see it next year. We're hoping for it next Gresham year. Gresham Fire Truck yeah. 71. Amazing work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Woohoo! And I believe they're, you know, right there's the police officers. Normally we call police first for staging. Oh, but, we got SWAT. But uh, they're going to be right behind them there. And you know what SWAT stands for? Special Weapons and Tactics. Looking good. That police officer's trying to get a firefighter application, I think. That's what he's following <laughs> for. Sure. Just a little inside joke with oh. our friends. Well, and we always appreciate Gresham Sanitary Service coming out. I, I know they're one of my garbage haulers. They are a family-owned company that's been in business for over 75 years. What started out as a one-truck operation has turned into a thriving company for over 30 employees. We have just completed a new millennium, a multi-million dollar transfer station. Oh, that's right. That's over off the, I saw where they were building that and yeah. only one location in Gresham. We are proud to call Gresham our home and hope to do so for another 75 years. Yeah, the Millers are an amazing family. They've given so much to this community. They just keep doing great, and they take away our trash, too. So oh, for they them. do, they do, they do. And check out Brad Rowe making one more curtain call. He's doing call. Another, another pass. And he's got Mr. Gresham with him, which I think is fitting. And we're also I love it. Of course, Thank you, Mr. Gresham. And Weston, one of our premier sponsors, of course, oh. Weston Buick, GMC, Kia, and Hummer. Yes. It's amazing. And just like we promised, here it there is. There it is. A huge thank you from the Sriracha Center National Gresham goes out to David Jothan of the Insurance Garage, the PDX Classic Car Club, and the Redding family for providing wonderful classics for the members of Gresham City Council earlier. Uh, they could be with us here today, which is great. And it's, again, 41st Annual Sriracha Teddy Bear Parade. And, Lori, it was an amazing parade. Oh, we had a lot of fun. I loved it. I, and I just want to give a shout-out to our sponsors one last time. Weston Kia is our presenting sponsor, then the Bold Orange, City of Gresham, Clackamas County Bank, East Hill Church Family, Ernst Manufacturing, Elena Roca Johnson, Christina Price, Kim Landfar of Edward Jones, First Community Credit Union, Gresham Ford, Gresham Outlook, KMO Real Estate, Metro East Community Media, Mount Hood Community College, Pediatric Therapy Services, Remax Bill Bailey, Social by Design, and War Warren Allen Law Firm. Lots of sponsors make this happen. A lot of effort goes into this parade. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a, it's a process. It is. And, of course, you know, we are just so proud that the Gresham Police and Fire come out and start and end our parade. That makes it extra special. We appreciate all that they do to keep us safe every day. And you also arrange for a photographer on scene. And I believe that that photographer, Jim Johnson, um, he'll be posting those photos of all the participants. Yes, you'll be able to go to um, the... Seroptimus International of Gresham Facebook page to check out those photos and download them for yourself if you like. That's great. And folks, don't forget, uh, visit the Gresham Farmer's Market. It is going on today just up the street at the Arts Plaza between 2nd and 3rd. You'll want to check that out. And again, there's more than just a teddy bear parade going on in Gresham today. There's a whole lot happening, so stick around for that. Uh, there's Hood and Kelly Streets. It's between 8 and 2. Enjoy the Farmer's Market. Visit the many shops, the restaurants, historical society. Make a day exploring Gresham and all we have to offer. It's beautiful down here in historic downtown Gresham. That's just been a great day. And I like know. I said, once it gets rolling, my goodness, all of a sudden it's over. But it's I been a know. wonderful parade. Yeah. It's great working with you and, of course, uh, and you as well, Greg. community media. They do amazing. And we look forward to oh, seeing it in, in display. Well, and thank everybody for coming out. This is amazing. I it love is. it. They're spilling into the streets. They're still, the yep, here we go. So just like that, we'll put a fork in it and we're done. We are done. That's a wrap on the 41st annual Absolutely. Sriracha <laughs> International Teddy Bear Parade. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you.